Hey guys, Arcus here, and um, <laughs> I didn't notice this, but apparently four days ago, we we had the entire Mammoth Swine move set and gameplay completely leaked out. So that means I legitimately, instead of analyzing the trailer, which is what I did, right? I did a full video analyzing the trailer, what he could do, his move sets and everything. I could have just gone to this and looked at this, reacted to this for y'all, but you know, what I'm gonna do today, instead of just, I, this is my first time seeing it, I haven't actually watched it yet. I kind of want to confirm what I said in that video is true in this video, right? Whoops, I did not mean to jump forward <laughs> because I have uh, my numb keypads is what I use for pausing and pausing. Um, yeah, I just want to basically, oops, I accidentally my mic. I want to confirm that, you know, everything is just like I said it was or if it's different, you know, if he's like crustal. Crustal is what I think it's going to be like, right? Because I've been playing a lot of Crustal lately. And that's just because I want to kind of prepare myself for Mammoth Swine so I actually can kind of be used to what his gameplay is. I really think he's going to be a off offensive offensive tank is what I think it's going to be, which is what Crustal is. He's a very big offensive tank. It's what my friend Rose likes to call him. The Pensionator is <laughs> what, what she likes to call him. Um, so yeah, let's just hop right in this and watch. Let me, I'm just going to turn this level down like this. Actually, I'm gonna turn the thing off completely. So, uh, let's go ahead and skip through this intro. Okay, so the video is about Mammoth Swing's position as a defensive type Pokemon. The evolution level is 1, 6, and 10. Okay. Don't worry, that's just a bug. That's just a bug with the uh, whole leaks and everything. Don't worry about it. Basically, you know, at level 6, he goes to Palaswine. I think it's pa Is it Palaswine? Pillaswine? It's Palaswine or it's Pillaswine. It's one of the two, I'm pretty sure. And level 10 he goes to Mammoth Swine. Okay. Um, that's a little that's that's really, really late for a tank. Oh, that's really late for a tank. Wow. Okay. He has a lot of crowd control ability. Okay. His ability is thick fat. So the defense and special defense can increase consistently. Okay. Um, maximum three stacks. Base attack is a third base attack that can stun Pokemon, which is what I thought. Okay, that is something why that's what I thought would happen. Um I don't think I mentioned the video, but this is like my afterthoughts when I was talking to my friend about this uh mass and everything, how, how good I think he is. Because my friend who plays Unite some but kinda got out of it and was waiting for Mammoth Swine to release. I was like talking to him about how I think the third base attack for Minus Soul actually freezes the Pokemon, which it confirms it here. Um initial abilities are Ice Shard and what? Tackle. Okay, Ice Shard and Tackle. So what does Ice Shard do? Ice Shard hurls three chunks of ice at a designated location, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area effect to increase their movement speed for a short time. Okay. If an opposing Pokemon is hit by all three chunks, it is left frozen for a short time. Okay. That's kind of why I thought I did with his ability to freeze with one of his moves. So you hit it like that and hit him. Oh, so it's a quick concession. Hits him all three. So every Pokemon that's affected by that gets frozen. Interesting, that's actually a really good ability, I think. Nice. So his secondary move is Tackle. This is like the starting moves, right? As the user rush recklessly in the designated direction, doing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits and throwing them. Okay, I kind of got to see this. So it's a dash ability, hits them, and it just... Oh, so it stuns them, throws them in the air, right? And of course, you can dash it through walls, so it acts like Absol. If you didn't know what Absol, right? Absol, both of his um, stick, uh, both of his moves, right? There's like two moves you can choose: Pursuit or Night Flash. Both of those moves can actually dash through walls. Um, that's one of the big things about him is like when your stir started off jungling, you can dash straight to the wall with the starting move, hit that Lily Pub out the bat instead of going around, so you're not in jungle as long as you usually would be, right? So you can choose Ice Fang or Icicle Crash for his first move and everything, right? Okay, we're gonna take a look at Icicle Crash. Oh god, that's a paragraph. Okay. Icicle Crash. Drops icicles on the designated location, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in an area of effect, and decreasing their movement speed for a short time. The final icicle shatters after a set amount of time or when hit by the user's other moves or boosted attacks, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in an area of effect and leaving them frozen. Which is what I thought he did with- that's like 
what I thought he did when he saw like the icicle come down. I saw for like a second the Pokemon was like frozen and I said that and notified that. Watched it like over like three different times in my video. If the icicle is shattered by tackle or high horsepower, the ground is covered in ice which in case increases the movement speed of ally Pokemon that run over it. That's really really good actually. Actually no, hold on, pause. It depends how big the area is. If it's a small one, I mean, it could be good, but if it's like a bigger area, kind of like Elden Gosses, it could actually be pretty good, right? When upgraded level 12, the final icicle leaves the opposing Pokemon. It's unable to act for a short amount of time. Okay. So it's a range ability, of course. You move it around and everything. Okay, so it hits some of the small, small ones, hits some the big one, and then, you know, obviously... Oh, so it is... That's a good amount of range. I mean, something like Absol, like if you team up with like a speedster, like a Absol, Talonflame, whatever, you could zoom across that. You could do that so they can get past it faster, zoom across it. They get there faster because they are the big DPSs and everything. Help do some uh, control and everything, right? Cool. And also, of course, it freezes the Pokemon whenever you use it. Uh. Iso Crash Plus just increases the amount of stun. Okay, so instead of Iso Crash, you can choose Ice Fang. Ice Fang uses cold infused fangs to throw the opposing Pokemon closest to the user, dealing damage and leaving the Pokemon frozen for a short time. The user can then designate a direction to slam the thumb Pokemon forward or backward, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in an area effect and leaving them frozen for a short time. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I thought. Whenever I whenever I looked at the uh, the showcase, the 30 second showcase, this is exactly what I thought was this move did. Cool. So it's upgraded level 12 and increases the area effect in which pose and Pokemon are left frozen after the slam attack. Yeah. So this is like this is exactly what I thought it did was it picked them up, threw them, left them frozen for a short amount of time. That's actually exactly what I thought it did. Cool. And it, it seems like he does some good amount of damage. Like it's not bad damage at all what he does. And of course, when he has plus, it extends the range out that you can throw it. Yeah, it seems like a really good move. I, I see both options so far look really, really good, right? So now we have for the secondary moves you can choose. You can choose your high horsepower or what was the other one? Earthquake. Okay, high horsepower or earthquake. Okay, so high horsepower has the user rush recklessly in the designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits and shoving them. The user then stomps its feet, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in an area effect, leaving them unable to act for a short time. The stomping deals increased damage to frozen opposing Pokemon, and when it reaches level 14, it gets upgraded to High Horsepower Plus. Sorry for that, I had to pause because I had a big sneeze. <laughs> um, when it gets a high, so high Horsepower Plus, it increases the Reckless Rush's speed and length of the time opposing Pokemon are left to act. Okay, let's see this in action. So, what was that range? No, 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 no. What, what was that range? Oh, that's a big range. That's a big range, buddy. Oh, that range is huge. It's a long range dash ability. When you hit them, it shoves them, and then you hit them uh, with like a tantrum tantrum, right? You shove your hose down. That's actually a really good combo to move a Pokemon away. So like you can get like behind the goal, right? So let's say that you're this goal like down here, right? You can get behind that goal. You could you know, do Icicle Crash on top of them, high course power them out of the goal so they're shoved out of the way. And then this, you know, whatever speedster you're with or whatever DPS you're with attacks and kills them, takes them out so you can then score in the goal and take the goal. Yes, I love Mammoth Spine already. Oh boy, I am gonna- oh boy. I'm gonna be happy to play him already, I can already tell. Earthquake. As the user leap up in the designated direction and land forcefully down, dealing damage to opposing them Pokemon area effect and pulling them towards the user. When he reaches level 14, you get Earthquake Plus. It decreases the movement speed of opposing Pokemon for a short time when this move hits and increases the pulling power. Interesting. Okay, so it's a mid-range ability and it stuns them. Okay, that seems like a pretty good ability. And you only need to do edge in it, uh, the edge of it just to stun them and bring them towards you, right? Honestly, I kind of like high horsepower more. Like, the more I think about it, I think I like high horsepower more. 
Hey, so this is his unite move, right? So Mammoth Mash. Okay. Has the user jump to the designated location and become immune to hindrances. The user then repeatedly stops the ground, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area effect and decreasing the movement speed for a short time with each stomp. The final stomp throws the opposing Pokemon and the effect. Yeah, so it just it's a big area effect move that does hits everyone around it and it repeatedly stomps the ground. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be Earthquake, but it's Mammoth Mash and Earthquake is going to be. Cool. Um, I think Mammoth Swine is. Uh, yeah, he like he said that he's going to be OP. I think he's going to be OP, but I think it's going to be top tier, but not like overpowered. I think it's going to be balanced enough to where. I don't well, know, because he's doing big amount of damage and then he's supposed to be a defensive type, so obviously he's going to tank. And he has crowd control. Never mind, he might actually be OP. Huh. And as guys, thank you guys for watching. Also, I didn't say this last video. Shout out to Chelsea. Um, I'm going to give him a subscription and a like just to push that out because I think he's doing some good work here for us. Uh, I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.